Good morning, YWLA. It's Miss Burns bringing you announcements for Monday, September 21st. It is an A day, but students, this is not just any A day. This is an A day that is historical because for the first time ever, your teachers are going to be teaching students that are in person in the classroom and students that are virtual still on Zoom. If you are one of our virtual learners, students, you're going to keep doing exactly what you've been doing. You're going to access your lessons in Canvas. You're going to submit your attendance for all of your classes each day. And you're going to be sure you turn your assignments in in Canvas as well. For our in-person learners, you get to sit in the classroom with your teachers. Students, remember a mask is required at all times, except when you're eating breakfast in the classroom and except when you're at lunch. Students, you will have assigned seats during lunch and your teachers will make sure you know exactly where you're supposed to sit. You're going to go through your regular school day, students. You're still going to have your advisory at the first part of every day. And then students, remember A day is advisory, first, second, third, and fourth period. Students, when you're in the hallway, please remember you have to remain socially distant from each other. There's no need to crowd. There are no lockers, so you should go straight from one class to the next. And students, don't forget to use that hand sanitizer when you enter the classroom and when you exit the classroom as well. It is Mindfulness Monday, so Miss Gash is going to visit with you about some mindfulness tips. And students, we're going to take a look at the life and legacy of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I hope everyone has a marvelous Monday, and I'll see you soon. Every single day. Students and staff, on Friday, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away after her battle with pancreatic cancer. Here's more about the legacy she left behind and the work we continue to do. Justice Ginsburg was more inspirational than any rock star. She had heart and determination. She cared about what happened to people, and the world began to notice. So we cheered her workouts we were awed at how she would go get cancer treatments and return to the office. But most of all, we were moved by the power of her convictions and her words. I would like to see an equal rights amendment in our Constitution. She never forgot the discrimination she faced as a young lawyer. In a case involving equal pay for women, Justice Ginsburg was on the losing side. In her powerful dissent, she said, the ball is in Congress's court. A couple of years later, Congress passed a law to fix the problem. Just one of the many ways that Ruth Bader Ginsburg's legacy will live on. One of the many reasons she deserves our admiration. Good morning, YWLA students and staff. Happy Mindfulness Monday. So I have a mindfulness technique that I want to teach you all that can be used no matter where you are. And the cool thing is nobody will even know that you're using this technique when you're feeling anxious to reduce the anxiety or to help you relax and focus your attention on what's happening in the present moment. So let me show you what this technique is all about. So this technique is called five, four, three, two, one. And the goal is to tap into your five senses to help you focus on what's going on in the present moment. So the first step is to sit in a comfortable position or you can stand and try to identify five things that you can see. If you're outside, some examples may be the sun or the clouds. If you're inside, you might notice a picture on the wall or you might see people around the room. And then for number four, you will find four things that you can feel. So take a moment to identify maybe the chair that you're sitting on or feeling the floor underneath your feet. Or if you're outside, you might notice the wind blowing. 
And then three is for three things that you can hear. So right now you all hear my voice, but if you're nice and quiet, you might also notice the clock ticking in the room, or you might hear the air conditioning or your siblings if you're at home. And then for number two, identify two things that you can smell. Maybe you might notice the food from the cafeteria. You might smell the laundry if you're at home, the laundry that's washing. If you're outside, maybe you might even smell the fresh cut grass. And then for number one, identify one thing that you can taste. Maybe you can taste the mint in your mouth or the breakfast that you ate this morning or even the toothpaste from brushing your teeth. So again, this mindfulness technique is called five, four, three, two, one. So take some time to tap into your five senses and notice how it helps you to relax. If you want to be able to um, look at this graphic again, check out the YWLA Counseling Services Canvas course. Have a great day. Now it's time for the pledges and our creed. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. I am YWLA. I am a scholar. I am a leader. I am a young woman. Respecting myself, my family, my peers, my community. My image is of integrity, the portrait of pride. I hope, I dream, I believe. Maintaining the discipline to succeed and the courage to fail. I am, you are, we are YWLA. That's all the announcements we have for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day.